Hey guys, Alu Pop here. Today I am doing a bookshelf tour, specifically my TBR bookshelf, which will basically be done on this couch and not actually at my shelf because I don't have the room to put my camera at the shelf. I did this video last year. There will be a link in the corner somewhere and a link in the description. And there will probably be books in fact, I'm pretty sure there are books that were on that list that are also still on this list. But there should also be a lot of new ones. And there are a lot of books that I also took off my TBR recently. Not gone forever, but just gone for a while. Basically just the first books in series that I hadn't started just so that I could get my list down a fair bit and so that I didn't have quite the intimidating TBR. My shelf is pretty small, so removing those books for now was necessary. I am basically a mood reader, so these are basically all of the books that I could be reading soon-ish. It is also worth noting that I also have my books organized in a different way than I did last year. Starting with that my Chicken Soup for the Soul books were last last year, but I'm actually going to start with them this year because that's how I have my books organized. The Chicken Soup for the Soul books also specifically are organized by year. I don't know if they're currently in the correct order, but that is generally how I've had them organized for a couple weeks now. We have Chicken Soup for the Surviving Soul, Chicken Soup for the Woman's Soul, Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul, Chicken Soup for the Teenage Soul 2, a second Chicken Soup for the Women's Soul, Chicken Soup for the Kids' Soul, Chicken Soup for the Soul Christmas Treasury, Chicken Soup for the Preteen Soul, Chicken Soup for the Sister's Soul, Chicken Soup for the Nature Lover's Soul, Chicken Soup for the Preteen Soul 2, Chicken Soup for the Girl Soul, Chicken Soup for the Single Parent Soul, Chicken Soup for the Mother and Son Soul, Chicken Soup for the Soul Tough Times Tough People, The Gift of Christmas, Married Life, Miraculous Messages from Heaven, Miracles Happen, Christmas in Canada, and It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. The next section is standalone. However, the books I'm actually going to start with aren't technically standalone, but I am treating them as such. And that is People of the Wolf, People of the Masks, People of the Fire, and People of the Sea by W. Michael Gear and Kathleen O'Neill Gear. These books are all in the same series, but they can be read as standalones because they're not related to one another, so I am treating them as standalones. It is also worth noting that none of these books are in any particular order as well. Although when I put these books back, I may just decide to also put them by year. Next we have Pet Cemetery by Stephen King, Broken by Patricia Haley, Lonesome by Chris uh, Ch Tchaikovsky, I think? I'm definitely butchering that name. Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Robel. The Testament by John Grisham. The Associate by John Grisham. This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. Corridors by Michael Galloway. The One by John Mars. And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stevader. Sacagawea by Anna Lee Waldo. The Summer That Made Us by Robin Carr. Vanishing Acts by Jody Picoult, Stuart Little by E.B. White, Five Days of Famous by Alison Noel, Her Pretty Face by Robin Harding, Paper Towns by John Green, and the next few books that I have don't actually technically fit on my shelf, so they have to be lying down because otherwise they won't fit. So they go at the end of my shelf, but they are standalone, so I am including them here. And that is Welcome to Deadland by Zachary Tyler Linville, Lifeguard by James Patterson and Andrew Gross, The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, and The Racketeer by John Grisham. The next section is series. 
I have these books organized by books where I have the next book and books where I don't have the next book. So starting with the books that I do have the next book for, I have The Austere Academy by Lemony Snicket, Daja's Book by Tamora Pierce, Darkness Falls by Aaron Hunter, The Black Unicorn by Terry Brooks, The Lunatic Cafe by Laurel K. Hamilton, Edge Dancer by Brandon Sanderson, Empire of Ivory by Naomi Novik, The Dragon Reborn by Robert Jordan, The Horse and His Boy by C.S. Lewis, Outcast by Aaron Hunter, and Angel Fire East by Terry Brooks. And for books where I don't have the next book in the series, I have Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb, Third Degree by James Patterson, Farmer Boy by Laura Ingalls Wilder, The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stevader, Hunted by Maggie Stevader, Inuyasha Volume 5 by Rumiko Takahashi, and Thunderhead by Neil Schusterman. My next section are books that don't actually fit on my shelf, as in I just don't have enough room for them all. These are a mix of both standalone and series. Whenever I take off a book off of my shelf to read, I fill in the space with the top book in this pile. And whenever I get a new book or I put a book that's in a series that I already have onto the shelf, it goes into this pile first at the bottom of the pile. And again, these are in no really particular order. There's Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Island of Legends by Lisa McMahon, The Secret Commonwealth by Philip Pullman, Race to the Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse, The Outsiders by S. E. Hinton, Elephant Song by Wilbur Smith, The Sunbird by Wilbur Smith, The Eye of the Tiger by Wilbur Smith, Hungry as the Sea by Wilbur Smith, Confessions of a Domestic Failure by Bunmi Laditon, in the Midst of Winter by Isabel Allende, The Girl Who Played with Fire by Stieg Larsson, Cold Mountain by Charles Fraser, How to Speak Pirate by Jordi Telfer, The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Lick Me by Cherry Vanilla, Nobody's Perfect by Kimberly Kerberger, The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, The Dragon Waiting by John M. Ford, World War Z by Max Brooks, and no Such Person by Caroline B. Cooney. And those are all of the books that are on my physical TBR. Let me know in the comments what you plan on reading or if you have a physical TBR, let me know what's on it. And I will see you next time. Bye!